This video is a mukbang and it's story time. I got KFC. Mm. 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 It's be a nice meal. Before we get started, I want to give you guys a little bit of background. Women is not a good place to meet anybody. They had this beautiful accent. And I was just like, wow, wow, there are not lots of gentlemen left in this Abuja. Like, calling him, like, where are you? I can't see you. Like, oh, I'm inside this black blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, one second. I, I was like, what? And then I was like, I can't believe this. It's actually happening. For what he showed me, uh, what, what he projected himself to be, versus this is not connecting. That I don't think this is going to work between us. to my channel if this is your first time here hi my name is sylvia it's nice to meet you and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back i really appreciate kisses okay guys today's video as you already know is a mukbang and story time so this is another dating in abuja story time you guys really enjoyed the last one i did and if you haven't seen that video you should probably check it out i'm going to leave like an ipad up here I think it's up here. I'm also going to put the link to the video in the description box just so that you can check it out. So as I was saying, you guys really liked that video and I just felt like, okay, I have more stories to tell. So here goes another story time. So I have not eaten since morning because I've been waiting for this moment to make this video so that I can, you know, enjoy the food. So I got KFC, as you guys already, can already see here. So we have this Pepsi. So I got like this box. Alrighty. Okay. No, I'm going to put this in a plate. So I thought it would be wise to have a bottle of water just because. And a spoon. So I got big beans. Mmm, I like big beans. I find that mm -hmm. lots of people don't like big beans. Um, barbecue sauce, chicken popcorn, and then obviously fries, and then chicken. Ah, my God, yummy. All right, now this is perfect. Guys, I cannot remember the last time I had KFC. Probably, it's probably been a year now since I had KFC. All right. All right. All right. Now, I'm gonna have first taste. I'm just gonna go gently. So, oh, there's no ketchup. Hold on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. dip this in the sauce mm. Mm. it's going to be a nice meal I just want to say if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel okay and check me out on Instagram. I'm going to insert my Instagram handle in the description box and I'm also going to put it on the screen somewhere <laughs> on the screen. Okay, so before we get started, I want to give you guys a little bit of background to the story time so that this video is not all over the place. This story time is going to start out when I met him, obviously. So we, my friend and I, we went clubbing so okay i have to say clubbing is not a good place to meet anybody people that give all these testimonies or they met their husband in the club good for you but for me i don't think any reasonable relationship comes out of a club so i met him in the club and i was dancing having fun with my friend 
and he bumps into me so when he bumped into me i was like this guy was like oh i'm so sorry da, 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 da. like he was so polite that was like the first thing i noticed about him how polite he was and that's not something that you come across a lot i was like oh don't worry don't worry it's fine so basically so basically my friend and i are still dancing having fun and then he comes back again he's like hi can i dance with you that kind of thing and i'm like me i can't dance so i'm like no unless you can dance then you can teach me how to dance i'll just follow your steps so it's like no problem that he can dance too but that's cool so we just you know played around and then he's like can i speak to you outside normally i don't step out the club for anybody unless it's a friend that is coming in i have to go and get the friend so but i'm like let's go because i'm leaving very soon anyways so i think i'm over this now so let's just go outside and talk so we went outside and one thing i noticed about him was one thing i noticed about him was his accent he had this beautiful accent the words were like rolling out of his tongue it was so beautiful to listen to and i was just like wow <laughs> so he just kept talking he was just asking me like where i'm from where did i school what did i study what am i doing now stuff like that so we're getting to know each other and then i messaged my friend i'm like if you want to go i don't mind because i'm actually tired and she's like okay cool she's gonna come out very soon so that we can go so i told the guy i'm tired i'm going to leave and then he's like that he can just drop my friend and i off at our place so i was like no you don't have to then he's like no he he insisted and insisted and insisted so i'm like okay anyways i'm with my friends and everything so i guess we're safe anyways um he took us back to my friend's place because that's where i was sleeping over and then we kind of exchanged numbers and he's like well i'll text you and everything so the next day he like text me like oh can we go on a date he really likes to continue the conversation we're having in person so i'm like okay that was on a saturday so i'm like i'm busy on that saturday but we can do sunday it's like fine that's cool so on sunday he messages me like oh where do i want to go to because we had no plan place to go to and then i'm like i don't know anywhere is fine i guess like surprise me so He's like, you know, can you send me your address so that I can come and pick you up? So, this thing, I'm one of those people that when I'm going on a date, I'm like, I'll meet you there. I think I've said this before. It's amazing. So, he tells me the place. And I'm like, okay, I'll be there. But like, I was like, okay, for once in my life, let me enjoy this privilege a lot of women seem to have. When the man comes and picks her up, he said, okay, I'll send you my address. <laughs> So I sent my address to him and then he told me that okay by six he'll be coming. So I started getting dressed obviously. So he texted me, I'm downstairs. So I went downstairs and then this man brought me flowers. Like actual flowers. Oh my god! Wow! Which was so sweet. I felt like wow, there are no lots of gentlemen left in this Abuja. <laughs> So like, for him to bring flowers on the first date, this is a good start, a very good start. So I was very happy. So he took me bowling, and it was an amazing date. We had a lot of fun. I won him, <laughs> and then after that, he took me to go and get dinner, and then he dropped me back home. So basically, we we're having conversations. Like like I said, his accent was beautiful. We were vibing, it was nice, it was a nice time. And then um the next day was a Monday. He messages me, Oh, where is my office? I told him where my office is. He's like, okay, so when you're about to get off work, like, let me know. So you know now I'm curious, like, okay, this gentleman, okay. When he was close to close of work, so I texted him, I'm like, okay, I'm almost done. And he's like, okay, I should stay back, that he's coming. I came out, I came out in the rent so I didn't even know. 
where he was so i'm like telling him like where are you i can't see you and I'm, like, oh, I'm inside this black blah 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 i'm like okay so i get in the car and then he's you know playing music and we're just talking so in my head i'm thinking okay so we're going out for dinner this nigga takes me back home so i don't know but for me that was impressive i like people that like do things not to get something they just do it to make you happy i like people like that so i just thought like that was really thoughtful the fact that he came all this way because his office was not here in my office so he came all this way just to pick me up and take me back home I like, saved me transport fare. Like everything was going smoothly. And then I had told him how much I love to watch movies. He said, okay, like we should have a movie night. Now, in Nigerian context, when a man says movie night, I'm thinking, so you're trying to get me to your house. No. For some reason I was like, okay. This guy seems like a gentleman. Seems very like organized and stuff. I want to see what his space looks like. So that I know if this is something I'm most forward or not. Because if your space is like dirty, then obviously you don't have any business talking. <laughs> so I was really curious. I was pretty excited. I was like, okay, let's do movie night. So he said, send me a list of movies you like or a movie you want to see, blah, blah, blah. So I sent him a list. So he knew like I like wine and popcorn and all that kind of stuff. So he came, picked me up. This was another weekend, picked me up, and then went to a supermarket. We got wine, we got popcorn, like lots of popcorn. And then, obviously, I was like getting ginger, and I was excited. And then, <laughs> by driving, I'm happy. Can't wait to see this man's house. And then we arrive at some hotel. Or something like that it wasn't completely built but was the hotel so in my mind i'm thinking of okay, you are here to maybe he's here to see somebody and then after that we'll be on our way to his place one second this man tells me oh you know like we're here because me i'm just sitting in the car like should be or coming down He's like, why here? I'm like, where? Not on the name of the place. I, I was like, what? I didn't want to come across like, but this is not your house. I, I didn't want to do that. So I was like, let's see. I still followed him. We entered the building. The elevator was not working because the place was not completed. We walked three floors. As in, as I was walking, I'm obviously like, oh, I'm so tired. You know? And he's obviously telling me, oh, sorry. They have not yet fixed the elevator. This is, you know, my company is in charge of this building, is in charge of construction, blah blah blah. What's my business with construction? Why are we here? So we go upstairs, and then, <laughs> first of all, the way I imagined the movie night was <clears throat> in a sitting room, a TV, popcorn drinks, me relaxed, watching something funny, laughing or watching something scary and being scared like something like that i did not imagine being in like an uncompleted hotel with a laptop 13 inches screen so we entered the room and i could tell that this is his base like it's like as if he's living here or something like there was there were little bits of him everywhere in this place. So I was like, wow, this is not actually happening. So because I don't come across as see I'm shallow or something. You know, I try not to say anything. I just went along with the flow. In my mind I was like, I can't believe this. This is actually happening. For what he showed me or uh, what, what he projected himself to be versus this is not connecting. So finally, I asked him, why are we not in your house? He's like, my parents came from blah, blah, blah. So they're like in the house right now. And I don't want to just like bother with that. I'm like, hmm, if you say so. <clears throat> okay. 
so i watch one movie on his laptop i didn't even drink that much wine because i don't want to lose guard in this place because now i'm getting a bit uncomfortable and i'm like eating the popcorn and then he tries to like pull me closer to him like you know get comfortable because we're on the bed and then i'm like hell no oh hell no i was so disappointed probably i have to be home by 11. i kid you not 10 59 after i have to go <laughs> trying to request my boat because both stopped working by 12. and then it's like no i'll drop you off i'm like you don't have to drop me i will request my boat i will go like no i'll drop you off so i figured i didn't know anything since this was a bust of a date and they let me get a free ride out of it. On our way back home, I kind of explained to him, like, I don't think this is going to work between us. I don't want to say that I don't think this is going to work between us because he took me to an uncompleted hotel and I was scared for my life for a second. And if you pretended to be what you're not, I don't want to say all those things. I wondered if he knew that what he did was kind of weird. Like, I was just shocked at that experience. This entire thing lasted for, like, a period of two weeks. Within two weeks, I met a gentleman, or someone who I thought was a gentleman, treated me like a lady, got me flowers, seemed like he was doing well for himself, and I ended up in an uncompleted hotel. Like, how? <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes, Abuja men, some of them, pretend to be what they are not. And this is like a general thing, but mostly Abuja guys, I don't say broke. I should probably, let me just say it. More like broke guys pretending to be rich or pretending like they have arrived when you don't have to as you guys can see i'm not in i'm not going anywhere with this nail i'm getting full i don't know how i'm going to do this <laughs> then i'm going to like package it and save it for another day but i'm really enjoying it and i really enjoy telling you guys the story and if you enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section give me a thumbs up or better still subscribe if you're not subscribed okay and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video okay bye